South Beloit resident Robert Sharpalini is on a personal crusade. He's filed a federal lawsuit against Governor Pat Quinn and other state officials hoping to stop a provision that restricts Medicaid recipients to only four medications a month. We were asked in the federal court to strike down that provision as being, one, unconstitutional, number two, contrary to federal Medicaid law, which requires the states to administer their uh, Medicaid program, quote, in the best interest of the recipient. Our position is, is that denying a Medicaid recipient his or her medications to either sustain, promote, or save their lives is certainly not in their best interest. Sharpalini takes seven medications a day for a panic disorder, depression, as well as nerve damage after losing his finger. I'm being asked now, as are a lot of other recipients who take more than four medications, to pick and choose every month which four we want at the pharmacy. Now, we're not in a position to make that determination. Sharpalini says it's destroying him financially, and this trained paralegal says state liners would be outraged with what he has discovered in his research. Governor Quinn, uh, per the Department of Corrections in Springfield, uh, provides state prisoners with unlimited amounts, and I quote that, unlimited amounts of medications that are deemed necessary for them. Our attempts to reach the governor to comment were unsuccessful. Fourteen other states have drug limits, but Sharpalini's lawsuit is the first in the U.S. filed in federal court in Rockford. This federal lawsuit has been assigned a U.S. magistrate judge who will review the complaint and decide whether or not to proceed. That decision could take about two weeks. If this case is successful, it could set a precedent and force other states to repeal their script limits as well. From the Ruskowski Federal Courthouse, Dolly McCarthy, Eyewitness News.